Welcome back everyone to my Let's Play of Final Fantasy Mystic Quest for the Wii Virtual Console. Last episode, we defeated the Dog King, but we didn't uh, see the ending because the video was getting kind of long and I needed something uh, to go with the bonus episode here, so. Uh, between episodes, I maxed out my uh, level. Level 41 is the max level. Uh, you got that uh, a little bit before you hit a million experience. And I read that you were supposed to get like 99 of each spell slot once you hit a million experience. But apparently that rumor was not true. Uh, so it's just some misinformation spread on the internet. Can't believe everything you see on the internet. That's why I am going to show you in this video uh, how easy it is to defeat the Dark King. That the cheesy method actually works. So to cheese the Dark King, all you have to do is attack him with Marshman's Cure uh, spell. It doesn't work with Phoebe because her magic stat is so high. Apparently, uh, at a certain point, uh, when you hit a certain number of your magic, it uh, it deals a whole bunch of damage to the Dog King, but then when your magic is to a certain level, uh, the healing starts to go uh, backwards. So you see, you deal like a 10,000 damage to him, and then after that you heal, if your magic is high enough, we'll start reversing that damage and take it back to zero. Uh, so that's what happened with Phoebe there, uh, when she had uh, used the Cure spell, did a bunch of damage, but then the damage was healed because her magic stat was so high. You can see how that kind of works when I equipped Marshall with the Dragon Claw and gave him five more magic. He actually did less damage than when he was with the Excalibur. So uh, that threshold uh, is somewhere between uh, magic 55 and magic 60 because the, his ma the damage went down during that time. The cure started healing some of the damage it did. But just at the uh, base uh, magic stat of Marshman at level 41, 55, he'll do uh, over uh, 12,000 damage. So pretty much takes out uh, each uh, form of uh, the Dark Lord in, in Dark King, I mean, in one hit. So. So that's the easy way to cheese the boss. And uh, with the Mighty Cure spell, which we found way back in Foresta, we have defeated the Dog King. Yes, yes, we defeated the Dog King. At last, it's all over. Yes, the Dog King has been defeated. And hey, here's the old man in the cloud who was helping us throughout our journey. Disguised as a human eye, the crystal of light have guided you. Evil can't thrive if you keep hope alive, use your courage, and respect your world. A bright future awaits you now. Go and enjoy all the world has to offer. So the presence of a fifth crystal shouldn't really be a surprise, because if you look at the uh, intro s uh, screen, uh, when the crystals appeared, there were five crystals. So there was the four elemental, and then the fifth one there would be loaded as the crystal of light. So. Now we get to just travel back around the world and talk with a bunch of the folks who uh, we uh, encountered in an adventure. Marshman, you say the Dark King was the problem you beat him? But of course, say, once become a group and a captain back, they're fine, they've already headed home. Now we'll be heading to uh, a bunch of uh, homes with the folks that we met. So, you have no control over this, this is just the, the ending cutscene here, so. Then we were back in Foresta, talk with Kaylee and her family. You're safe. What are you going to do now? Hey, maybe you can answer that. Mac, how about lending me that ship? I need a little more adventure in my life. Don't worry, Kaylee. Alright, but let me see if it's still seaworthy. Don't forget your cap again. I wonder if he's going to give the cap to Marshman, because Marshman will be actually uh, captaining the boat. I don't know how he knows how to captain a boat. I mean, he had to use that one time, but... Magic, I guess. Spencer, you're still digging? Yep, all because of you guys. Anyone seen Tristam? That jerk, he's gone treasure hunting again. Well, tell him I said hi. Back in uh, Fireburg, where Ruben was from. He's now apparently uh, joined this band here. How's it going? Ruben couldn't be better. Why don't we hang out in this town? 
No way, I'm off for more adventure in Captain Mac's ship. At least let me see you off. Now we're gonna head on back to Captain Mac's ship here. You see all our friends here? The ship's better than new. So that is uh, Captain Mac, his wife there to the left, Kaylee's mother. Three cheers for Captain Marshman. There's Otto and Norma there on the bottom. Wait till you see my next invention. Can you come over again? Then we have Ruben's father and mother, uh, Arian, and his mother wasn't given a name. He tells us to basically enjoy life while we're young. Think about all the adventure I can stand. How about taking me along? Give me an expert treasure hunter. That's uh, Spencer, Ruben on the left. There's Spencer's uh, granddaughter, uh, Phoebe, our last companion. Now, first companion there over on the left, Kaylee. She's gonna miss us. She gives a goodbye hug. I'm gonna miss you too. Farewell. The only one we didn't get to see was Tristan. But he's always out treasure hunting, so. Yeah. I'm sure Spencer will say uh, hi to him if he sees him. So now we are sailing the ocean blue. Say we because Marshman is not alone. That's right, Tristram has snuck on board. What are you doing here? I can't resist and want to hear about an adventure. I'm gonna keep an eye on you, kid. Still calling the Marshman kid. That's Marshman, you nut. Even Marshman is fed up with it. And that is the game. So, it's a simple uh, RPG. I remember the first time I saw this game, or someone playing it, my roommate in college had it. And he was at uh, Captain Mac's ship, uh, trying to find Captain Mac. And he was, uh, he didn't really like the game. Uh, he kind of has a love-hate relationship to it. A lot of people don't like it because the game is so simple. Uh, but the simplicity gives it somewhat of a charm. It's just one of those games that you can just, uh, you don't really have to study much about it. Uh, you don't really need to go in depth into the mechanics about it, like in Final Fantasy 2 uh, or Final Fantasy Legend uh, 2 and 1. Uh, it's just, you know, a very simplified thing. And if uh, Square's goal is to create a beginner RPG for people, uh, it, it worked. I mean, because like I said, it's just. Uh, you really can't lose in the game, because if you do lose, uh, it always gives you the option to retry uh, the battle. So, and as long as you're like fighting the enemies that they put in front of you, you'll always be, you know, appropriate level to defeat any challenge that you run into. Uh, it helps that they give you uh, helpers. Your helpers, when they join you, are at a level that they can pretty much solo the dungeons that they're in. So even if like you are really, uh, you know, dying a lot, your main character not getting experience, uh, you should still be able to do it with your uh, helper companions, so they can uh, carry the. Uh, the load uh, do a majority of the work so I think uh, people have already done like low level quests to this so we basically just get minimum experience I think like 15 was the lowest I heard somebody uh, but uh, yeah so uh, yeah it's just a good way to you know introduce you to some uh, aspects of you know role playing genre uh, like I said it wasn't a lot of popular in um, America which is why, you know, Dragon Quest didn't take off and they had to give that Dragon Quest giveaway. Uh, you can learn about that in my Dragon Quest 1 uh, Let's Play. Uh, I don't know if this really made RPGs, uh, I don't think it really made RPGs accessible uh, in America. I don't think that really happened until Final Fantasy 7 came out and it became, RPGs kind of became cool and spectacly. Uh, but, uh, you know, it's still a, a decent game to play, uh, even if it wasn't the, uh, didn't meet all the expectations that Square uh, wanted, but overall, like I said, I think it's a, a fun game, just a nice time waster. Uh, the music is great, uh, the, the graphics are good, uh, you can definitely see where, uh, you know, the inspiration it took uh, from other games, Final Fantasy Legend 3, uh, and other previous Final Fantasy games, so... Uh, I hope you uh, enjoyed this. I want to thank uh, Marshman's mom for letting me honor a Marshman by letting him be the hero in this Let's Play. And uh, if you like the Final Fantasy games, um, 
keep uh, in touch because uh, I'll be doing Final Fantasy 4 and 5 later on uh, this year. So take care. Have a good one. Thanks for following along. Your support is really appreciated. Take care. Have a good day. Thanks for following. Bye.